the abandoned City Methodist Church in downtown Gary, Indiana. This particular room right here, the sanctuary, um, some brief scenes from the movie Transformers 3 were filmed here. Um, mostly of uh, the yellow windows versus the stained glass. Um, and right here in the sanctuary, you, you also notice the movie briefly they show outside of this red brick building in the background, which is actually still intact. That's right now at the senior citizen's home. Um, it was originally the Hotel Gary. And you'll recognize these upper level um, platforms here. Um, Gary was started out as a, the time it was a boom in steel town back in the early 1900s. This church took about 21 months to complete. It was about a million dollars, which is a lot of money nowadays, and was a lot, real lot of money back then. I think it worked up to about 13 million in today's dollars. Um, United States Steel, um, the guy, um, Albert Geary, of course, the town was named after, donated um, $385,000. Yeah, it's quite an impressive building. Um, what you're seeing over here is known as Seaman, that's S-E-A-M-A-N, all for those of you that have a childish or perverted mind. Um, Pastor William Seaman um, was one of the key people behind this, having this church built. Um, really impressive auditorium here. I think you can see about a thousand people. When the church was started, the congregation was about three thousand people. Um, recently, there were some remaining seats in the auditorium. Um, sometime, I guess, in the last few months, vandals decided to knock down the last remaining seats. This, I believe, was some sort of conference or meeting room. Um, this whole church was actually more than just a church. It was an auditorium. It included several storefronts and office space. The idea behind the storefronts and the office space, which you won't see in this video, was that um, renting those out would help pay for the maintenance and utilities to keep this massive building running. Um, I'm sure you could guess it was not cheap to keep this running. Um, that's also what ultimately led to its demise as a steel mill let people go, the employment went downhill, um, people moved out of Gary. Eventually the congregation got down to only about 300 people and they could barely afford the utility bills. Um, all kinds of stuff. It was a pretty impressive building, and what I've read, the church welcomed anybody in the community. Not if you didn't have to be Methodist, let alone um, religious. Um, and unlike some of the churches at the time, what I read is that the pastor, William Seaman, was against the KKK and whatnot, and, and welcomed black worshippers into the church. When apparently at that time, a lot of blacks were not welcoming quote unquote white churches. You hear a bunch of shelves. Really you hear in the background here the um, ice cream truck, and yeah, it looked like it's a scary city, but, and I wouldn't, I guess I'd be lying if I said it was a totally safe city where nothing ever goes wrong, but um, a lot of times, I mean, as you show there, I heard the ice cream truck, I saw kids out playing in the streets. There's a um, fairly nice, I think it's an independent or charter school right across the street from this church, um, and on the other side of this church, well, there's one side, there's a senior citizen home. Um, across another block, there's a bunch of really, fairly new, well-maintained homes where you'll see gardeners out maintaining lines and whatnot. Um, maybe it helps that this particular church is only a few blocks away from the Gary Police Station, but um, I will say the city is not, at least during the daytime, is not as dangerous as what the media, what you'll hear in the news and whatnot, makes it out to be. Um, there's a lot of poverty here, a lot of abandoned buildings. Um, when I I didn't really run into too many locals this time in the past, so I talked to some of the locals. They're fairly decent people. Um, and then, I think if you go here during the daytime, you don't have too much to worry about. Just amazing all about how nature has taken over this building. Um, what really caused the most destruction here, it was abandoned sometime in the 80s, was in 97, there was something called the Great Gary Arson, where a bunch of buildings, including this church, got torched. And then that's what caused the roof collapse and some of the major decay here. A lot of stuff. You got the walls made out of stone once the wooden roofs were burnt that led to much more rapid decay. You'll see here in the gymnasium where a lot of the truss beams have fallen down. In fact, a lot more even since last year. You may hear a siren here. It's not too far from the police station. 
Yeah, well, you can see how nature is taking over. Um, you're walking around here, I guess the main thing you have to watch out for is in case the roof falls down on you. As far as the board giving way, not likely any time too soon, or because it's quite all the visual decay here. The floors are in this, and in the Ambassador Apartments building, which is not in this video, are, and most of the buildings here, are re steel reinforced concrete. So, you're likely if you suddenly, unexpectedly fall into the floor, it's not likely. Um, I guess that's pretty impressive. See off in the background here, and a little bit further, um, the steel mill, which is still open, just the amount of points is severely increased. It'll be interesting to see if anybody in the organization ever decides to restore this building. Hopefully, it'll do that, or at the very least, um, keep it preserved as what I've heard is called a ruins garden, versus tearing it down and making it a parking lot or whatnot. Um, Maybe at least portions of the building that hopefully somebody can see it. Um, till the employment situation and the financial situation very improved, so I doubt much of it's going to make to see the smokestacks, the flames from the steel mill. Uh, another cool shot of the gymnasium here. Beams falling down. Because of the uh, roof, I mean, it was burned and full of holes, I guess, holy, no pun intended to use the church. When I was out here a year ago, but apparently it's something less months, a lot more those beams, a lot more ceiling is given way. Um just go across the building here. It's really interesting to see what happens there. I just hope it doesn't get torn down. A little bit more tagging since last time. Um I have heard I've never had any meetings with the law enforcement here, but um uh, Gary did get a new mayor apparently about three years ago, I mean three months ago. The new mayor is a former attorney, so she's probably concerned about lawsuits and whatnot. And there has been some more incidents of vandalism um, here in the church and some of the other abandoned buildings, which wasn't so much the case in the years past. So anyways, if you do go here, I would say don't let yourself be seen going in, if, especially if the school across the street's in session. I don't like anything else, just don't draw attention to yourself. Um, you don't have to worry too much about I'd say about getting money and whatnot, I mean, there's always a first time, but you just don't want to draw attention to the neighbors, especially people over at the school across the street. Let them see you going in because I've heard reports of them calling the cops on people. Um, what I've heard is hopefully if you do get seen going in to show the cops that you're just here taking pictures, not vandalizing, not tagging, um, but it'll be cool with that, but then it helps not to draw attention. In some more here, just nature totally taking over and got the, the roof gone, the fire and whatnot. It makes for pretty, I know out where I live in, back home in San Diego, it makes when you have a wildfire, it makes pretty fertile soil once. Of course, the heat and all that's gone. Again, that red brick building in the back is fully intact and occupied by senior citizens. Can't see it, but off to the left would be the school, and behind me is some sort of urban renewal project or whatnot. Anyways, 